Hello everybody, this is Dan or Crazy Bad Cuber, and uh, I needed a change in my channel. I wanted to do something like this uh, for quite a while where it's more face to face and I have a cube. I also have an overhead camera right up here, hello. So that is gonna be, there's gonna be two views now. There's gonna be a front view and a top view as well. And uh, this way you get to see the puzzle and also me and I get to interact with you because it's totally different looking at you guys through here than it is uh, through a viewfinder and, and just imagining you're there. It's, I want a more personal experience and I've wanted this for a while. I actually wanted to get a film set and like build different sets, but I'm just gonna do it in my house for now until I can do that. Um, but today we are going to review the Angstrom 4x4. Uh, this is a really highly anticipated puzzle. I kind of hoped that they were gonna come out with a 4x4 uh, when they uh, started with the Angstrom, and they did. They came out with the Angstrom 4x4. Now, currently, my main is the Cubicle Labs 4x4, which is this one right here. Um, this puzzle here, it was really like my favorite. It's, it's totally the best puzzle I've ever tried in my life. Uh, I was going to do two videos for the Angstrom, but I decided to just go with uh, a review because I've had this for a while and uh, my first impressions have completely changed to a review point of view now, so I'm just going to do that. I really, really like this puzzle here. I'm not sure if this one's going to be my main yet. They're both really, really good. Uh, I think overall the Angstrom is better. I'm, I don't know. I'm going to do a comparison once I get the GANS 460 of all three of these as well. I'm getting used to the stickerless plastic, which is great. Uh, the black I still have better recognition with, so we'll see what happens in the future. But so far, I'm really, really impressed with the Angstrom 4x4. So this has the exact same dimensions as uh, the, the other one as well. The only difference is, uh, obviously this one is stickerless and the other one has uh, different lubes in it. And this one has uh, Angstrom lubes in it. So it has Gravitas and Dignitas and DNM37. This is exactly the same lubrication they used on their uh, 3x3s. So I just reviewed these 3x3s as well and these all have the exact same lubes and they're really, really good. So I'm not surprised that the Angstrom 4x4 is also really, really good. And it is. Now I'm gonna tell you my first experiences with this puzzle because it definitely uh, was uh, disappointing at first. <laughs> I say that lightly because uh, you guys have seen me review lots of Cubicle Labs, Cubicle Pro Shop, and now Angstrom Puzzles. And this, they always come, except for one case, but most of the time they always come like really like slow and, and gummy. And like it takes a while to break them, uh, you know, break them in until they're fast. And I like a fast 4x4 personally. So I was really uh, hoping to uh, get a fast one. And... The first stickerless Wu Chui I ever had before was terrible. And I talked to Kevin Hayes at a competition about it, and he had the same opinion. Like, the stickerless one just isn't good. The black one is great. Uh, magnetic Wu Chui 4. It's a little slow. <laughs> it's the only thing. I, I wish it was a little faster, but... I'll let you try mine and see. Oh, yeah, sure. So this is my magnetic Wu Chui. This one, okay, this is what I expected it more to feel like. I had high hopes for this, but I was I was really hoping that it was going to be great out of the box, and it wasn't. It was really, really slow, really sluggish. Now, I don't know if they're all set up exactly the same, exactly the same amount of lube. I don't know if it's the same person who does it over and over and over again. But what I can tell you is that this one came out of the box worse, worse feeling than any other cubicle product I have ever felt, and it was really disappointing. And uh, I, I was like, oh man, like I really wanted this to be good. That being said, after solving with it for two days, it took two days before that feeling started to go away and it started to speed up. I think the lubes are so thick and they don't, they don't obviously take the time to break it in as much as me or you would, that it took a long time for those lubes to move around and mix properly. Uh, and it had the turnover between like out of the box and now uh, is such a huge turnover compared to any other uh, you know cubicle product that I've ever had before meaning that it was the worst to the best So this thing is absolutely amazing now. It's it's so much better uh, Turning than the black one, but I'm getting around the same times because uh, I don't I, I Don't recognize stickerless as as much and I, I'm starting to I think I've just been on black puzzles for so long that I'm getting used to the stickerless again uh, And it's gonna take some time uh, but really, really nice turning puzzle. The magnets, I feel, are stronger on the outer layers than this. 
Um, so I'm not 100% sure if that's the case. Actually, let me check it out here. It doesn't say anything on the website about that, but I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. They changed the outer layers to have stronger magnets. Uh, and I think that was something to do with Max Park. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know down in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that is correct. Um, I really like the magnet strength on this. Um, all of the layers feel completely even in every single way. Uh, that took a while to happen as well. And now it's just like such a good puzzle. The corner cutting is phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. Reverse corner cutting is great. It even cuts through the center a little bit, like reverse, I mean, obviously forward it does as well. Um, I find with this, my accuracy is bang on as well, and it has a lot to do with the magnets. This puzzle is like really super soft feeling as well. It's got really, really, I, you know, I, I honestly can't really explain how this puzzle feels besides it's super smooth and super soft. It's perfect in every way uh, for me. I, I have a feeling this is going to switch to my main, but I really want to like, get my hands on the GANS 460 before I make that claim because that one might be as well. So I'd like to really get that one. Uh, Phil said they're gonna send that out to me and, uh, and then I can review that and then I can do a comparison of all three which I think would be a really good video. So anyways guys, uh, I'm gonna show you some solves on this. Enough talking about it. Um, all right, let's go. So I think what I'm gonna do in this commentary is I'm just gonna go over these solves and kind of tell you my process while solving, what I think my downfalls are. Uh, what type of things I've started to improve. Uh, my first two centers, I always have the first one. I can get the first one blind. The second one, uh, I know where the first two pieces are, uh, and then you usually have to search for the, the second uh, slot to put in the last uh, center. So it's a little bit slower than I'd like it to be, but I am getting a little bit better at it. I think for me, the worst part is uh, matching up the first three edges. Now I use Yao method, so you do two centers, three edges, the rest of the centers, last edge, and then you continue edge pairing. Um, but it's 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 finding the, like I put the, the my, my two colors, white and yellow, on the left and the right when I'm doing these first three edge pairing. And then, uh, and then I use the middle slice in order to do it. Now if I see, say, blue and white, and it's on the left, middle slice I will tell myself it's on the left so when I spin the cube looking for the other piece I know to put it on the right um, but I spin the cube too much I, I spin the cube way too much and uh, I lose track of where I've put my first edge so when I have to make my second one and put that um, you know oriented with the first one I'm searching again I'm now pausing and searching again for uh, you know, for, for where I'm supposed to put that in. It takes so much of my time. The first three edges is really like, the rest of the edges, no problem. But the first three, <laughs> that's tricky. And uh, I've also changed my uh, OLL algorithm. You'll see it here. I don't do the double flick with my finger thumb anymore. I actually do a different one. I'm starting to get the finger tricks for it right here. You'll see it. I think it's, I think that's basically the one everybody else does. They just do a double flick, uh, which I'm working on. <laughs> Uh, anyways guys, uh, these are the solves. Very much a pleasure to solve on this puzzle. All right everybody, so I've had this puzzle now for about, uh, I'd say two and a half or three weeks. Um, it's basically all I've been solving on for 4x4. When I do go back to the black one, um, it's still really good, but it's, it's, uh, it, it's not as smooth, I, I can give it that. And it's uh, middle layers are, like all the layers don't really feel even and they never have with this um, for the most part I mean they, they did at first but they started to slow down but they've never always truly felt the same where I was on the angstrom they always feel the same and and that is amazing to me because there's so many more pieces on between these layers here that uh, that move with another layer so there's more friction through the middle and that's why that happens sometimes but this one here you can't really feel it the lubes and the tensioning are perfect, uh, perfect out of the box. I gotta be honest, I've never really wanted to recommend a puzzle more than I have the Angstrom 4x4. This thing uh, has has really like changed how I feel about 4x4. It has changed how I solve even. Um, I practice more, I'm getting faster at it. Overall, I, I honestly don't have a single bad thing to say about this. Now, 
a lot of people, when they see angstrom puzzles and cubicle labs puzzles, they complain about the price. And this is a pricey puzzle. This comes in at $69.99, but you can get it cheaper if you use coupon code CRAZYBAGCUBER at checkout. Um, you can get this in black and stickerless. If you want black though, it's an extra $3, so it'd be like $72.99. I'm not sure why. I think it's because uh, they have to change the stickers. So um, that's that's where the cost would go, plus the stickers themselves. Anyways, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video with this new setup. The lighting is not optimal. I've got this thing built around me, and uh, it blocks some light. I've got lights on either side of this camera right here. Uh, this is my old Sony a6000. This is my Canon 80D, which is great, but not with this lens. This lens is kind of bad. So if you want to get this puzzle, you can get it at thecubicle.us. Uh, links at the top of the description. Again, you can get a discount with uh, code CRAZYBAGCUBER at checkout. Also, this shirt here is honestly my favorite cubicle shirt ever. I've got them all, I think. And this was, I think, designed by Damien the Cubologist. And it's a great shirt. Uh, it fits well. I wear an extra large. It's got the cubicle logo on the side as well. And... Uh, I think most of the profits for this, if not all, are going to the Cubicles lawsuit against Rubik. So if you guys could pick one of these up, it's a really good thing. They're, they're really doing this on behalf of the entire Cubian community. So if you can afford a shirt, go ahead and grab one. I think they're really awesome. All right, guys, so it's time for feedback. Please let me know what you like or don't like about this dual camera stuff. I'm going to keep it anyways, just so you know, but what could I change about it? But anyways, guys, this is uh, Angstrom 4x4 review slash what do you think about this new setup? Please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks to The Cubicle for sending me awesome puzzles, and I'll see you guys on my next video.